So Karen, last day of school today for the holidays? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Yeah? All right, give me a kiss goodbye. No, mm. no. Oh, that's right, we can't do COVID kisses, can we? No. <laughs> All right, let's go. G'day my friends and welcome to Marty's Garden Vlogs. Exciting times, that's for sure. Just got Karen off to school. Last day of the holidays, so she'll be helping me with some camera work, a little bit of behind the scenes stuff here at Marty's Garden. She'll be gaming, she loves her gaming now, and doing a few other things. And I'm waiting for a customer to come. He's got a ute pickup, 15 bags he's ordered for his fruit trees. I can hear a car pulling up now. That is not them, if you can hear it in the microphone. And this compost is great for fruit trees, 7.5 pH, full of soil life, and just rocking the bomb because it's gonna hold a lot of moisture and really sort of tr lock in that, what I like to call the soil bank. So water moisture locked in and the biology starting to grow around the root zone. It's gonna be great stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna get out there and wait for my customer to come and then we're gonna take you outside and show you around the compost area. Some pretty cool stuff going on out there. All right, this is fun, isn't it? Hello, Emily, you're on your own. Is Gertrude laying some eggs? Oh, not eggs, an egg. How you going, sweetheart, you good? Don't get too lonely, just go visit if you're lonely. All right, so what we've got here, that order is ready. And the bins, the compost worm farm bins are doing absolutely great. But that's going to be an update in future videos to come. What I want to do is show you a large blend that I've had done. And that's going to sit further. It's going to be mixed more. And I'm going to throw coffee grounds into it. This is really exciting because it's this is the first stage that you get and if you look at it it's still not really broken down it's it's you could use it as a mulch but it's light and fluffy and still a bit dusty like it needs moisture locked into it it just needs the worms to get through it it needs that biology to start kicking in and so when the compost worms move into it that's when it becomes really good oh, look here's my customer guys so I gotta get it together. So as I was constructing this video and I was doing some edits, so I'm sort of in between edits while I'm creating this vlog, I thought, you know what I need to do? I need to tell people about compost, what to look for when they go to buy it and how they can make it better and improve it. You see, what happens is when we go to a lot of landscapers and we buy different compost and soil mixes and things, they very rarely check the pH so you need to ask them what the pH is I've known landscapers to actually like buy cubes cubes and cubes create big gardens not tested themselves and then the whole lot's died because it's just been too acidic or too alkaline and that can be a real problem so what we want to do generally is have very close to neutral so if it's a little bit alkaline that's okay if it's a little bit acidic that's okay we don't want to go too high off the scale of either one so always keep that in mind when you're buying composts and another tip is when you go there or you order it most of the time it's composted or it can be even pasteurized if it's coming from your local council it hasn't broken down far enough see what they're doing is they're breaking it down to about two-thirds they're going yep that's pretty good by the time it sits in the lot for a while it's going to break down a little bit further but if it sits in the lot in a dry spot and it doesn't rain or there's been nothing sort of added to it to sort of kick it off it's really just sitting there as a bunch of carbon with locked up nutrients and doesn't have any biology as a soil life in it no fungi things like that unless it's sort of like trapped up in maybe some worm cast or things but you never very rarely see worm casts in compost these days you have to buy it separately now my compost has about i would say on average around about 10 percent worm castings right through it because i wait until the worms are in it 
before I start selling it, right? Because I want that biology to be moving through. I'm selling soil life. So remember, check the pH, make sure it's broken down enough, have a good look around, get your hand in, stick your arm in. If it's really hot inside, it's still breaking down. If they're digging it and you go early in the morning, you see a lot of steam coming off it, still breaking down, ask for the oldest material and really inquire about their blends, what's in them and where it comes from. All right, so do you want to watch the rest of the video right at the end after I do the flexi hand bit? Ian, we've got a bit of a sort of like a, he's a YouTuber as well, and that was the customer that come. And so hang on to the end of this, but I've still got to do my, please give me a Bush Ranger thumbs up. Ned Kelly style, full armor, helmet. Oh, look, man, this is the Ned Kelly story. I'm getting off on the <laughs> crazy stuff, but it's my fun, and I love doing that, and I really do appreciate these big thumbs up when I get them. Helps the algorithm in YouTube, helps me get more viewers, and then keeps me psyched to keep creating more content for you guys and passing out that valuable information to help you grow better gardens at home because it's all about feeding the soil and not the plants, right? All right, here comes a flexi hand. Before Flexi Hand, we need Mr. Music. Remember, come and see Ian at the end of the video if you want to see what type of YouTube channel he's got. He's an Aussie. Of course he's an Aussie. He's in Australia. <laughs> music! Mr. Music! Here he is. Woo. Comes a Flexi Hand. Are you ready? Someone going to high five on the other end? Turn up the music. Please, Mr. Music. Here we go. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Thanks Marty, these are gonna come in super handy for about 20 fruit trees that I'm gonna be planting over the holidays. So yeah, thanks a lot. No worries, it's super cool that you got that permaculture thing going on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after talking and meeting, it's our first time meeting, uh, you said you've got a YouTube channel yourself, you're a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing uh, YouTube since 2009, uh, teaching people how to sing. Uh, so Aussie Vocal Coach, that's my YouTube username. Uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. So youtube.com slash Aussie Vocal Coach. That's it. I'll have a look around and see if I can get at the end for the card and put a card up there as well for you. One of those end, what do they call those end things? Oh yeah, uh, end screen. End screen, That's yeah, the at yeah. the end screen. Man, that is absolutely awesome. Nice to meet you. Unfortunately, we can't shake hands during no, the COVID stuff like that, that, but we do our <laughs> Asian Sawadi Cup or whatever, you That's know, it. Day or <laughs> Nice to meet you, man. You too, and uh, I'll get back to it. Yep. Have a good day. See ya. See ya.